Aloha, Percy Ihara here, publisher of Generations Magazine. And I'm here with our wonderful partners, Vacations Hawaii. I'm at their beautiful offices on Kapilani Boulevard. Season two continues, and here's what's coming up. On today's show, we'll see how seniors are helping to take a bite out of crime. We'll look behind the footlights of a popular stage production. We'll visit the Nakapuna Makamai Senior Center. We'll revisit the Aging in Place Conference, and we'll talk to the Kidney Foundation on Generations Radio Show. It's all ahead on Generations TV. When you feel like Vegas, there's just one place to stay. Find it at the Grab a drink at the Holo Holo Bar, there's just one place to play. Find it at the we got a fresh hot look, a new sports book. We got those local meals, just like Auntie Cooks. Aloha, spoken here. Bet you find it at the Look now at thecal.com. Welcome to Generations TV, Hawaii's resource for life. Catching the bad guy isn't always done by a good-looking young guy in a snazzy red sports car. Sometimes much of the work is done behind the scenes by senior volunteers at Honolulu Crime Stoppers. Aloha, I'm Francis Camacho. I'm 72 years of age and I'm a volunteer at Crime Stoppers. When I receive a phone call, I usually answered with either good morning or good afternoon. It's Crime Stoppers, please remain anonymous. How may I help you? It's really about catching the criminals and putting them behind bars. Hi, my name is Valentine Hui Hui Jr. I'm 65 years old and I'm a retired police officer from the Honolulu Police Department. I volunteer here at the Crime Stoppers to get information regarding the crimes that happen in Honolulu. The volunteers are the heartbeat of our organization for Crime Stoppers, and I just love working with them. We get all types of calls. Even people who call and say um, they're getting scammed on the phone. People are, you know, we understand people trying to get money from them. So I try to direct them who to talk to, where to dial, and and just tell the person, you need, to, for, for phone calls, you need to call the Federal Trade Commission and this is their phone number, and they will help you. When the phone rings, I answer the, the line and uh, tell them that this is Crime Stoppers, to please remain anonymous, may I help you? Some interviews over the phone are off the wall. They, they're excited, I have to calm them down and start from there. And that at that point, I start to get other information as to the name, uh, if you have nicknames, maybe an address, how old are they, height, weight, color hair, and that description if I can get that from them. A lot of the tipsters that call in, they're talking really fast and so forth. So uh, we have volunteers that is able to calm them down and said, okay, hold on. I'm, I'm going to give you a field of questions I'm going to ask you. We have a sheet that the questions that they need to ask. When I first got here, truly, I was very uncomfortable not knowing how to draw the information from the caller. And then I really got to understand how to slow down the caller and say, excuse me, uh, please, I, need question, I have questions I need to ask you. You need to answer these questions and please slow down. I became comfortable in myself and able to to handle whatever came across my pathway. Even in my own personal life. The seniors, the seniors, they have so much wealth of wisdom that they can add. It really helps the organization. In fact, the senior is the one that came up with this bulletin board. It's been done for years. They had to look through the folder, but it was a senior citizen that you know, a senior that told me, why don't you have it in front of our face so it'll be easier. So I'm always drawing from them and I love it. I love it. Volunteering as I age, the satisfaction that I get from 
from get, gathering the information to get people uh, to tell about uh, different crimes, it, it results in an arrest. Uh, we can close the case. It's very rewarding, very, very rewarding. Every day is not the same here. There's always something different, and that's what makes this exciting. You know, if you're, if you're looking at uh, a rewarding piece or job uh, as a volunteer, consider being a volunteer here at uh, Crime Stoppers. It's a different kind of reward. It's not monetary. This is um, something that comes from the heart, and if you have the time, please consider being a volunteer here at Crime Stoppers. When um, the fugitives get arrested, we have this saying, um, we celebrate and we said another one bites the dust and they and we all smile and said okay we're cleaning up our streets but we love it when another one bites the dust so if you want to volunteer at crime stoppers go to www.honolpd.org click on the job opportunities section and there's another link that says volunteers you fill out that application and there's gonna be a background check so it takes approximately two months for them to go through the background check and once everything passes, you're able to uh, join us here at Crime Stoppers. Stay tuned for more of Generations TV, Hawaii's resource for life. When you're going over your Medicare options, the different plans can be confusing. At Copeland, we'll be happy to help you select and customize the health plan that best fits your needs and budget based on your current providers and medications. We provide the service at no cost or obligation to you. And something you might not be aware of, you could be eligible for financial help to pay for your prescription drugs. If you have questions about Medicare, we have the answers. Call Copeland Insurance Group at 808-591-4877. Did you know compelling new research published in top medical journals links inflammation to heart health, brain health, and even lifespan? That's right. Physicians and healthcare professionals now agree the key to health and longevity is managing your inflammatory health. I agree. I agree too. Absolutely. I concur. So why don't we manage inflammatory health with these well-known anti-inflammatories? The answer, the risk of side effects from chronic use. The truth is, there are no anti-inflammatories safe enough for chronic use. Until now. Introducing Xanthacin, the safe anti-inflammatory for health and longevity. Visit GNC, your neighborhood inflammatory health center, to learn more. Welcome back to Generations TV, Hawaii's resource for life. Midnight, I wake up and I wonder, <laughs> did I leave the door open <laughs> with the groceries outside? My five-year-old nephew, he like play swing with me, only he like use my chins as a swing. But what I realize now, though, is that I have had the exercise of life's difficulties. I have developed strong emotional muscles. Now here I am, having just recently qualified for Social Security, and I'm in a slow state of decay. Aging is not what our s stereotypes are all telling us it is. There is love, laughter, and freedom. I ain't 20 either, and I don't care neither. My hair is gray, I like it that way. If you don't love me and you don't get sick, well, maybe that's not love. Aging is not for sissies will be performed on February 18th and 19th, 2019 at Manoa Valley Theater. I joined Body and Brain Yoga and Tai Chi at age 80. I am now 90 and I'm physically and mentally healthier than I've ever been. Experience health and happiness at Body and Brain Hawaii. Welcome back to Generations TV, Hawaii's resource for life. Brought to you by Vacations Hawaii. The landmark Kaka'ako pumping station on Ala Boulevard sat empty and unused for decades. 
But now, in its 119th year, it's home to Nakapunamakamai Senior Center, providing programs and services for seniors by seniors. Today, I just started the class, uh, which is called Fura Noho. Noho, in this case, is meaning chair. You can sit chair and you can still dance hula. We're gonna start this for mainly for kupuna people and or disabled or you have bad knees in anything, you know, you can still dance hula. So the, the dance, we just did it. I, that was my first experience. And I was, before that, I was like, mm, I don't know. I mean, I never done it. But after that, I really, really enjoy. I mean, because I felt like a connection, of course, the nature, but a connection with the uh, people. So I really feel like a really like a we are family. I strongly believe hula is healing and hula is a, you know, we just put the positive energy. Hi aunties, uncles, please come and join us. It's really fun here. If you want to express your creativity, you might enjoy weaving. So I come here on Wednesdays to learn how to weave. I'm retired, recently retired, well, two years now. I just wanted to make a couple bracelets, and one year later, I'm still here. You know, I enjoy the camaraderie of the other weavers. That, that's a big part of it. Each of our classes are progressive. So you start off with an Oeno mat, and then from there you do a bottle cover, and then you go to an oval mat, which is the basis, the top of your hat and then after that you go into the hat class. A lot of our classes is generated to seniors. It's to help your body as well as to help your mind. Whereas for example, the hollow weaving, you have to make sure that the weaves are consistent. So you're always constantly thinking about how to weave. And that's what our center is about. So I think it's great that it's like more of a cross-generational aspect here because you can actually learn a lot by spending time with all of the different people around you. You've spent a lot more time on this planet necessarily than you, so they've got a lot of wisdom and advice and different things that they can they can all bring to the table. So getting that time to meet and talk and have that is really important. So come on out, you know. I mean, uh, the uh, company is great. It's a great craft to learn and uh, a lot of fun. A relaxing way to get in tune with your body is yoga. The type of yoga that we do here at the center is geared towards seniors, and it's a very restorative, gentle practice. There's always an opportunity to sit in a chair if you're more comfortable to have the practice that way and receive it that way. Making lay and working with flowers can be both relaxing and productive. What I do here is uh, sharing of the culture through the flower and the pua, which is my most important thing that I've discovered very late in life, actually. <laughs> Everybody should have come here to um, learn how to make play. It's very peaceful. I do teach even my students how to exercise their hands every day and take care of them so you never have arthritis all. Looking for a fun game to play with others? It could be Hanafuda. With Hanafuda, we cross the bridge between cultures and also generations. And so this is what our job is to do, is to cross the bridge. I am here today to play Hanafuda, which is something that when we were young, we were forbidden to play in our house. Yeah, that was what, in the 40s. I was born in 1936, I'm 82. And so um, those were one of the rules. No gambling, no playing cards, and no drinking coffee. You know, they say that social isolation is as bad for your health as smoking 15 cigarettes every day. So it's really, really important that you come here and not only learn the game, but every time you come, you're gonna make a few new friends. So we do a monthly farmer's market here at NKM, uh, second Friday of every month from 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. and we feature uh, local food vendors, fresh produce from one of our Pacific Gateway Center projects, Kunia Farms. To get a schedule of all Nakapunamakamai's activities, visit their website at nakapunamakamai.org or call 808-773-7047. Kevin Kaneshiro from Vacations Hawaii with another travel tip. If you'd like wheelchair assistance at the airports, let Vacations Hawaii know and we can get that all set up for you. We have a great team of porters in both Honolulu and Las Vegas to assist. 
And if you'd like to bring your own wheelchair or scooter, that's an option. Or for those who prefer, you can also rent them in Las Vegas. For more information, call 591-4777 or BoydVacationsHawaii.com. As you try to figure out Medicare and what kind of supplemental insurance you need, you want a company you can trust. Financial Benefits Insurance is an independent agency. They don't work for an insurance company, they work for you and are experts at helping you navigate your way through Medicare. Hi, I'm back again. This is Ed speaking on Medicare Hints. A lot of people may not realize that they may qualify for extra financial assistance to help pay for their premiums and prescription drug costs, depending on their income and their total assets. These savings can be especially helpful for seniors who are on a fixed income. Find out if you qualify. Call us. As all the agents at Financial Benefits Insurance say, benefits are our business, service sets us apart. Give us a call or visit our website. Our name is easy to remember, FBI, Financial Benefits Insurance. When I first joined Body and Brain Yoga, I was overweight, stressed, and had IBS. Within a year, I had lost 120 pounds and my IBS was completely cured. Experience health and happiness at Body and Brain Hawaii. Welcome back to Generations TV, Hawaii's resource for life. Government programs and services are a vital part of Hawaii's kupuna community. And at the state legislature, the Kupuna Caucus is where it all begins. The Kupuna Caucus is an organization of legislators and stakeholders who are interested in senior issues. It's one of the first caucuses of its kind in the country to include stakeholders and legislators in uh, shared concerns about the uh, legislative issues. Issues like Kupuna Care, where uh, we encourage seniors to live independently at home with assistance from the state. Uh, we're among the very first states to enact legislation like this. It's chaired uh, by Senator um, Lesihara and myself on the House side. And what we do is we come together to discuss legislative issues that uh, involve seniors. And I have to say that in the past 15 or so years that we've been in existence, our batting average has been about 80% in terms of the success in getting our legislation passed. People in Hawaii tend to age healthier. They tend to be more involved in, in legislative issues. And that's good for those of us who are concerned about senior issues because legislators, as a result, listen to seniors. Seniors vote, seniors contact their legislators, and that's how we've been successful in the past and will continue to be successful if seniors continue to do that. The Kapuna Caucus meets at the state capitol. First Friday of every month at about 1.30 is when we meet. People can call my office 586-6340 for more information about uh, how to be put on the mailing list. Although legislation related to Kapuna is formulated on Oahu, programs for Kapuna reach all of the islands. On Kauai, the Alzheimer's Association has a variety of programs and services. I'm Umberto Blanco. I'm the program specialist for the Alzheimer's Association. So I'm the representative for the association on Kauai. Caregivers experience um, dealing with a situation that they were never trained for, that they know nothing about usually, and that will take everything that they have in order to be able to fulfill in an adequate way. How do you help people to deal with this kind of situation? How do you prepare people for that? So that's the basis of the trainings that we offer. And then how do you cope with the stresses of that? Those are the support groups that we offer. For more information about our services, uh, you can call 245-3200, extension 8242. On the big island of Hawaii, there's a program that's found nowhere else in the state. All right, aloha everybody. My name is Kimo Alameda. I'm the Hawaii County Executive for the Office of Aging. We have a service called uh, uh, Safe Haven. It's a, it's a safe place for kupuna. Uh, who can, who might be kind of at risk for elder abuse. Uh, it's a pilot project uh, and we're partnering with Hope Services Hawaii. And what it is, is they save us some bed space. So if there's a kupuna who's, who's kind of fearing, you know, their life or maybe getting neglected, they can go to this safe place. You know, so it's similar to a domestic shelter for, say, battered women or children. And it's, it's one of a kind. Uh, nobody else offers it in the state. 
and we think that it could be a model actually for something to, to go statewide. The Big Island is the best place to grow. We are very, very age friendly. Uh, I'm, our whole cabinet is probably over 60, except myself. So, you know, and our mayor is almost 80. And he, he, I mean, he really believes in taking care of our kupuna. In fact, he was the first to suggest a one-stop shop. So our uh, aging center is a one-stop shop for all kupuna services. For more information, um, people can just call me directly. My name is Kimo Alameda. I am the executive for the Hawaii County Office of Aging. And they can call us at 961-8600. Again, that's 808-961-8600. Whether the issue is elder abuse, Alzheimer's, caregiver needs, or anything else related to Hawaii's kapuna, there are people and organizations ready to help. Contact Greg Takayama for information about the Kapuna Caucus at 808-586-6340. For information about Kauai's Alzheimer's Association, call 808-245-3200, extension 8242. For information about Hawaii Island's Kapuna Safe Haven Program, call Kimo Alameda at 808-961-8600. And remember to check our website for more resources, generations808.com. Stay tuned for more of Generations TV, Hawaii's resource for life. When you're going over your Medicare options, the different plans can be confusing. At Copeland, we'll be happy to help you select and customize the health plan that best fits your needs and budget based on your current providers and medications. We provide this service at no cost or obligation to you. And something you might not be aware of, you could be eligible for financial help to pay for your prescription drugs. If you have questions about Medicare, we have the answers. Call Copeland Insurance Group at 808-591-4877. Be sure to visit our website, generations808.com, where we combine everything we do in one spot. Read current and past issues of Generations Magazine, watch past episodes of Generations TV, or listen to Generations Radio. Our calendar highlights activities of interest to seniors, and our resource guides provide valuable information. It's all online at generations808.com. Welcome back to Generations TV, Hawaii's resource for life. Hi, Percy Ihara here with Generations TV. We're actually at the Salem Media AM690 radio show, where today our guest is Karen Sway from National Kidney Foundation, and as well as Don Pasakala from the National Kidney Foundation, a registered nurse. So Karen, tell our audience that people that may not know what National Kidney Foundation of Hawaii is. Yeah, so the National Kidney Foundation of Hawaii works on um, providing awareness, prevention, and treatment opportunities to people of our community. And Don, let us know about what you do, and I know the coming events coming up. Uh, tell us some of those things coming up, and then where to find those. Okay, well, my name is Don Pasikala. I am a registered nurse with the National Kidney Foundation of Hawaii. Um, I've been there for, actually this year will be 10 years. Um, my role is really to help in the development and implementing of all of our adult programming there at the foundation and also outreaching and partnering with other community health organizations as well. I just wanna make mention that all of the programs that I'm gonna be mentioning are on our web calendar, www kidneyhigh.org. The first one is we have a diabetes self-management program. We have one starting in Honolulu this month and then also one starting out in Ho'ula as well in February. And so Karen, can you tell us a little bit more about your events, this event coming up? Yeah, so like Don says, uh, March is actually National Kidney Month and that's one of our biggest months of the year where we have our World Kidney Day and then our annual Walk in the Wild Side event. Our Walk in the Wild Side event contains live entertainment, cakey games, taiko drumming, lion dancing, and then of course our historical mystery walk. So it's kind of like a street festival and a healthcare festival all tied into one. Well, we're here at National Kidney Foundation. Check us out at generations808.com. Thank you very much. Aloha and live well. <laughs>